All right, I wanted to revisit the uh, cement anvil project that I'd done some time ago and just never shot the video. I made a cardboard form using templates and then used the thin shell technology of fiber reinforced cement to coat it. It's only about a half inch thickness, so it's a, it's a replica of a 100 pound anvil, steel anvil, but obviously it's not 100 pounds and it's totally encapsulated. And uh, the cardboard, once it's coated, it's, it's not like it's a structure, but it's just a form. My, my objective here is to have a hollow uh, technology to decrease weight, material usage, and time it takes to make it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through how I've made this. On the table, there are nine templates that uh, screw together that make this. And each one of these templates, there's two of them. I have my original and then I've traced around it, and then I've transferred the lines, there's fold lines, screw two lines, the tab lines, and I've transferred those onto here just by using an awl, pressing through the original template, and uh, transferring the lines and the fold, screw two lines, and stuff like that. But uh, right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and start to assemble this, mud it, stain it, everything, get it finished. Um, the, the, the technology, what I call cardboard rock technology, because I've made individual boulders, I've made water features, and I'll put a link into some of these other videos. My Easter Island statue, Whale's Tail Bench, I use cardboard because it's free and it's easy to assemble into a form. So the object is, is to get this thing as close as I can to the finished project to where I can actually just use a thin layer of about a half inch of the fiber reinforced mud. I sand it, I polish it, I stain it, and I seal it. It's a done deal. So stick with me, we'll get this thing rolling. I added this clip of videos to kind of demonstrate cardboard rock technology. Here we're making a, a little waterfall, a three-tier waterfall, and it's all lightweight made with the framing of cardboard. We want to end up with as close of a shape to what we hope to end up with, you know, in the cardboard. So we only have to thin mud it. And the left side here, the class is going to add that definition. We made it on the right for their sake so they could see it. Here we've mudded it. It's almost complete. It's still got some definition touch up, but ended up selling it to a guy in class and he took it home, made a waterfall. Here's a typical water feature that we did a spa addition to a pool, a little waterfall in the garden, and then a, the waterfall in the swimming pool. The back section of it was made with cardboard rock technology. The Easter Island statue is another great, you know, use for cardboard. That's a big item that's all air. I mean, the form is really close to the ending shape, so that takes a half inch of mud and that's all you need. You don't define the shape with the mud. You just basically are looking for the structure. The whale's tail bench, again, made with cardboard rock. Get the shape as close as you can to what you hope to end up with. Mud it with a thin, strong mud that's fiber reinforced and then sand it, polish it, seal it, and stain it and you're, you're out the door.
All right, so I've completed screwing the form all together and uh, it's ready for mud. The next step is literally to go over there and make some fiber mud and coat it, trow it out as smooth as you can so you avoid a little bit of sanding, grinding kind of a thing. But we obviously want to profile this to where these edges are sharp, straight, smooth, and sanding allows me to do that. And believe it or not, this fiber reinforced mud that we have formulated is very much like a fiberglass. It's, it's a sandable composite and you can work it, tool it, and then once you've gotten it to where you like the, the profile, then the next step is just to sand polish it. And I just basically use one of these little sanding discs. It's not a diamond blade polishing, it's just to sand it, literally, with this. And it polishes it up nice and, and shiny. Obviously, the seal coat that we put on adds a little more sheen to it. But uh, that's basically the gist. Now, if you look at the videos that I have for the Easter Island statue, which is a cardboard templated form, and you'll see us mud it with the fiber mud, and, and you can see the process there. So I'm just going to conclude the video here. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you've liked this video, please like it. Or if you've, liked, if you've enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and uh, subscribe. And I really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. Bye.